I hope you're holding up pretty well in this ECQ. Whether you're working from home or you're juggling household chores or just doing Netflix all day every day, it makes us feel a bit restless and uneasy and puts a strain in our bodies, especially our lower backs, um, our spine, our hips, etc. So here's a, a simple pose that you can do at the comforts of your units with or without a mat and it'll just take a few minutes of your time. So here it goes. Now make the uh, feet hip with distance apart. Roll your shoulders away from the ears. Puff the chest forward like so. So I will do it sideways so you can see the full pose, okay? So here, making sure my alignment is correct. Tucking the tailbone in, tucking the, the stomach in. Shoulders away from the ears. Feet hip with distance apart. As we inhale, we'll lift our arms up. Exhale, bending the knees here and move the body forward so that the torso will land on the thigh. Lifting the hips up, reach for the opposite elbows and let the head hang here. This is option one. Breathe here for three to five times. Option two is to ragdoll or move your body from side to side. Once again, three to five breaths here. So that is option two. Option three is to straighten the leg. Hmm. Feel the stretch at the backs of the thighs, all the way to the hips. Hmm. Feel the stretch. Unstack the spine. Relieve the lower back. And then equal inhalation and exhalation. Now slowly release the arms, bend the knees, lifting the arms all the way up and straighten the legs as you stand up. Hands in prayer position and then to the sides. We'll do it again faster. Inhale, lift the arms up, bending the knees. Go down. Torso on the thighs, reach for the opposite elbows, head in. Rock your body from side to side or leg straight. Yogi's choice. Again, inhale and exhale for three to five breaths. When you're done, release the hands, bend the knees, lifting the arms up, straightening the legs. And then exhale, hands at the heart and center, and then to the sides. You can do that for three to five times, depending on how you feel and how much time you have. So I hope you enjoyed that. See you again next time.